Now, good day to all. In this submodule of two, in the overview of GPS network, we will discuss the GPRS packet data transfer, or we can say the GPRS call flow. This one is the very good slide where we can see the all the call flow from different nodes from user equipment or mobile stations to GGS and to external network. Some understanding is required protocol layers on the GPS node. Let us now understand the how packet data units PDU will be transmitted from one end, end to another. And one end to another means from uh, internet to mobile station. Here we will take an example of a incoming packet data to the mobile station. The first, the application layer generates the IP data. Right, and it sends to the, across the external IP network to the GGS. It sends actually across over the external IP network to GGS. And these IP datagrams arriving at the GGS are known as NPDU. We can see here the NPDU. Network packet data unit and NPDUs will be addressed to a particularly uh, MC or IP address. These NPDUs will be passed over to the GTP, which will add a GTP headers. GPRS, GTP is a GPRS tunneling protocol which will add a header which will inform the receiving end whether this is a GTP message or a NPDU. A tunneling identifier which points out the MM, MM means mobility measurement and the PDP contacts using the MC or NCP. These are the some terminology we will use here in the call flow of GPS. The, after the GTP header encapsulations, this NPDU is passed over the UDP or TCP protocol layer. Right. And this layer will insert its own header. TCP header based on the quality of service class, which contains source and destination port address and routing information, flow control information for TCP or UDP. And this NPDU is now forwarded to the IP layer, which adds the address of the source and final destination. In this case, final destination is the SGS from GGS to SGS. There is also a possibility of fragmentation at this layer, depending on the maximum transmission unit size. This NPDU network packet data unit with all these headers is transported over the physical layer of the GN interface. What is the GN interface? GN interface is between the SGSN and GGSN. Now at the SGSN, after removing all the headers, the NPDU is now relayed to the SNDCP. SNDCP a protocol, application layer protocol at the SGSN. And SNDCP will perform the key functions of compression and segmentation in order to meet the 
MTU requirement. MTU means maximum transmission unit requirement. That is of the 1520 octets. And NPDU over the frame relay network service layers on this GB interface. Now, SNDCP after performing this operation of compression and segmentation will first classify the NPDU as a data PDU, SN data PDU, right? SN means SNDCP data PDU for the connection oriented or the connectionless as an un, connection on uh, connectionless data unit. To these SNDCP data, we add a header SNDCP headers which will contain the compression information, segmentation information, right? And these SNPDUs are sent to the LLC layer of the SGS. The prime function of LLC as discussed earlier is to provide a highly reliable logical connection between the SGSN and mobile station. LLC layer here behaves similar to the LAPD and LAPDM layers of the GSM, ABIS or UM interfaces. LLC layer will encapsulate the SNPDU data in the LLC frame by adding with its own header. This LLC frame containing the SNPDU data. Now we can also be referred as a LLC block. SNPDU after the adding LLC headers, it will known as LLC block and the LLC header will contain the control information recording the uh, significant for acknowledgement mode, frame transfer, frame check sequence and SAP value. And SAP over here refers to the service associated with the LLC frame for this PDP session. The services for this frame could be mobility management or user data one, user data two, three, four, like that. These user data levels are levels for different QS parameter like delay, retransmission, buffer size, etc. These user services are decided in the QS negotiation process. Now, we are moving towards the from SGSN to BSS part. The BSS GP layer below the LLC layer now provides the some routing information to the this below layer route this LLC block over the frame relay physical layer. Frame relay physical layer. The BSGP also adds a header to this LLC block. This LLC block, which contains the some essential information for RLC and MAC layers on the air interface for transmitting this block. The BSG, BSS GP on the BSS end then relay this information to the radio link control RLC layer. The most important job of the RLC layer is segmentation. The RLC layer takes one or more LLC blocks and chops them into smaller LLC blocks. Right, RLC layer takes one or more LLC block and chops them into smaller smaller RLC blocks. And these LLC blocks together which are chopped into smaller blocks are known as TBF, temporary block flow. Each TBF is allocated resource on the air interface. 
Each TBF is allocated resources on the air interface on one or more packet data traffic channels. This is one of the logical channel used at the air interface for traffic of data, data traffic. You can say PDTCH. The TBF is temporary and is only maintained for the duration of data transfer and is assigned a temporary flow identity that is the TFI right and the RLC layer also add a RLC header to these RLC data blocks which contains TFI RLC sequence number TLLI the different indication actually added in this header the RLC header will have some direction downlink and uplink specific information also the next question comes up with that what is the size of information inside the llc data block basically what is the segmentation size of the llc block into the rlc block right the information llc data block which clearly depends on the coding scheme LLC data blocks will depend on the coding scheme used on the AR interface. There are four coding schemes defined in the GPRS network that is the CS1, CS2, CS3 and CS4 which will contain the maximum which will contain the maximum data rate up to 22 kbps, 32 kbps, 38 and 52. Correspondingly, the selection of coding scheme depends upon trade-off between the desired throughput and reliability. After RLC segmentation and header insertion, these RLC blocks are transmitted over the air interface. It is interesting to note that there is one more layer before the physical radio interface which is MAC, medium access control. This layer basically controls the access signaling. Access signaling like assignment of uplink and, and downlink blocks etc. And hence this will add its own header which all the mobile will monitor to look for their term right basically it is it it sends the scheduling information we will uh, discuss about this more in the later session thank you to all for this gps data packet transfers and the session will be continued in the next module Thank you to all.